In this video, we'll be talking about how you can literally cut anything out in Photoshop, even if you have curly hair just like me. So hey guys, my name is Prithviraj and you're watching PR 75K. And without wasting any more time, let's just jump right in. I have this photo of this lovely woman. We will be working around her hair. Firstly, create a duplicate layer. Go to the Channels tab and only keep the red channel selected. Right click on it and click on Duplicate Layer. Enable the duplicated layer and hide the original layer. Press Ctrl L or Command L if you are on a Mac to open up the levels adjustment. Drag the shadows and make them really dark. Decrease the midtones and highlights so that we don't lose the separation from the background. I think this looks good. Click on OK. Since her hair is the toughest area, we will only focus on her face in this selection. You can select the Burn tool to blend in her face. Else the easy way is to take the brush tool and paint her face with the color black. Now select the dodge tool. Set the range to highlights and exposure to 100% and then brush along her hair. This will help you clean up any noise which might be present. Now press control on your keyboard and click on the duplicated layer. This will create a selection. Now select the RGB layer and hide the duplicated layer. Now go back to the layers panel and press delete on your keyboard with the layer selected. As you can see we have our face separated. Create another duplicate of the background layer. But before that, as you can see, there is a bit of leftovers in the selection we just made. We can just clean them off by using the polygonal lasso tool. Make the selection around the unwanted parts and press delete. Now let's select her body. You can use any tool to make that selection. I will just use the quick selection tool for now to get this done quickly. You can use the pen tool for a more precise selection. Press Ctrl and select the two layers. Now go to layer and select merge layers. Now we basically have her separated from the background on a transparent layer. As you can see, her hair strands are perfectly separated. Now export this photo as a PNG file. You can now place this photo on any of your projects and you're done. So as you can see, it was that easy to select around your hair in Photoshop. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel for more such content creation videos just like this one. And I will catch you guys real soon. Till then, hasta la vista.